Are you tired of crafting ammo and meds for you and your mates? Stop wasting time and scrap for your mates to learn blueprint and wasting 275 scrap on each member. Here I will show you how to connect and use the industrial system to switch and craft medical syringe 5F6 and pistol ammo. This system will stop craft when it has reached your prog programmed amount what you wanted to craft. At first I will try to speed build uh, this thing under 15 minutes. Enjoy. First two solar panels. Face north. Two. The powering blue. Got the root combiner. Two, one root combiner. One branch. One root combiner. Two. Large box here. Two batteries. The root combiner. Second solar panel, the root combiner, cover out into branch, make branch, branch of 20, so it should separate the two solar panels, go into each battery, and do the power out to the root combiner. wait with connecting this now i will do the conveyors transport resource out do the lights towards the, the workbench lights towards workbench again and for transport Finished crafted stuff. Lights towards this wall on the conveyors. Will be for the sensors. Large box here for the finished crafted items. Industri industrial splitter. Here. Here. Industrial combiner. Here, here, small box with code lock, Put these three blueprints here, the storage adapter, here and here, more industrial splitter, I'll connect the wiring. Pull it out. Do wire again. on the workbench here place it again Let's, do we get the power the last power in like this turn on working 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 
working. Uh, let's see. Green for filter fail on the left side. The right one for right one. Over in. Filter fail. Middle one for middle one. Over in. Left one. Filter fail. For left one. Over in. To red for filter pass. Over in. Middle filter pass. For middle. Over in. Left filter pass. Over in. If it's something, no. Then we will do the piping. Yellow for resources and items. Blueprints out. Red for and blueprints into the box again. Now we have to configure the conveyors. First one. Low grade at gunpowder at fragments, metal fragments, cloth twenty, 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 thirty. Apply transport. Transporting now, maximum 20, 20, 20 and 30 cost, okay, it's working. Uh, she's transporting a blueprint here. I need to turn off. Syringe. Syringe, blueprint, transport. Five up six blueprint. Pistol ammo. Print add. Same here. Syringe. Blueprint. Add. Five up six blueprint. Add. Pistol. Print. Add yes, yes. See here. I found syringe, syringe, max amount you wanted to craft. Let's see one, five, six amount one pistol bullet one transport range five, five six pistol ammo apply it should be working
turn on to check around and turn on everything make it uh, Okay, now we will test the system if it's working. See if all of the blueprints are back in the wooden box. They are, yes. Okay, I will toss these items out and now we will check if it will start out to crop. So turn on this. Perfect. Now I can show you again how it's working when I'm tossing this up. These three sensors, they are turning on when it's Nomads, pistol, no, uh, Nomads 556 and Pistol Ammo. If it's Nomads, this will turn on this conveyor to transport the meds blueprint into the industrial crafter and this will uh, do 556 and this pistol ammo when it reaches minimum one medical syringe in this box it will activate this uh, filter pass it will then tell this conveyor here to transport a blueprint out of this uh, industrial crafter into the box again. Then it will rotate to this one and when it's finished crafting it will stop. Okay now I'm gonna explain easily how this is uh, working. This fir first conveyor, it's only transporting resources from cupboard to the industrial crafter. These three conveyors are transporting the blueprints from the small wooden box into the industrial, industrial crafter blueprint. And these three are transporting the blueprints out of the industrial crafter blueprint into the small box again this conveyor it's transporting the finished crafted items into this wooden box and these three conveyors i would uh, call them sensors they will be giving signal to when to transport blueprints into the industrial crafter and when transporting blueprints out of the industrial crafter to end the crafting. This amount, where it's set in minimum, is the max amount you want it to craft, or minimum am amount. Set 16 here, 128, 128. Now you see it will uh, start crafting. It's pulling the BPs here. Medical, syringe, FF6, pistol ammo. Going into the industrial crafter, it will start crafting the first one. First bl blueprint until it's put 16, minimum of 16, it will tell it to turn off. Now you see it's 16. This, this this one will turn off soon and it will activate 
pull out the blueprint from the industrial crafter and put it back to the small wooden box. Now it's gonna craft one minimum of 128 5.56 bullets. Finally, it's finished crafted. The ammunition, this will turn off. 5F6. Now it will return a BP. To the wooden box. Now it will continue to craft the final blueprint here. Pistol ammo. Now the final item has finished crafting. Pistol ammo. This will turn off. We'll subtract the blueprint into the wooden box, out from the industrial crafter. I hope you like this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any problems with uh, this uh, regarding troubleshooting, remember that you have to turn the power on state at first time for every one of these, uh, these conveyors. So you have to uh, wait for them to uh, finish craft and then it will pull back. The BPs, you have to turn them on. Good luck. Thank you.